All right, I I apologize in advance for being somewhat less energetic than I am usually, but that can be chalked up to several things. Number one, my flatmate, the K-Man, man, stayed up watching television for ten past two. <laughs> Till ten past two last night, so I'm, and, and it kind of kept me up. And, and at ten past two, I kind of went through <laughs> through the show that he was keeping me awake. So I probably didn't get to sleep until like uh, probably at least half two, probably later than that, if we're honest. And uh, yeah, and, and I've just had movement class coupled with a thirty-five minute leg up the hill back to the flat and. This evening, I have to co-host a party. I really don't like parties. I really, really don't. In fact, that I really don't want to, don't want to do it. But this is the venue where it is, so you know, I have to do it. All right. So, getting on to the lot at last. So. First thing we had was straight acting today, and and of course I'm gonna catch up with last week because I didn't start this until this week. So, so last week we did played a few games. I actually got my uh, head slightly banged by an overeager student, but it was fine. It didn't hurt really. It was basically a version of um, what's the time, Mr. Wolf? You know that that game where you one person is at the end. And you have to try and sneak up on him, and if he turns and he sees you, you go back. That's basically what it was, with a slight variation in that you didn't want to be... You wanted to be last, which, in to um, get to him, you had... What you had to do is you had to kind of move uh, in such a way that you wouldn't get close to him, and you had to kind of make sure other people were spotted before you. You wanted to be last, basically. And I was, so I won that, which... That was pretty cool. That was pretty awesome. Because I don't win much. <laughs> at all, really. Uh, what, 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 and after that, what, what did we, um, you after that? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was, I was trying to rack my brain earlier, trying to remember what we did. We, um, basically started doing, writing down a scenario for persons A and B. And then we, we would, they, they were just kind of acted out. Um, yeah, you just read it and you would act it out and, Person B didn't know what what her objective, his or her objective was at all. Uh, so so yeah, we did that, and then we moved on to just so only talking with Humpty Dumpty. Now, if that sounds weird and pointless, it really isn't because it because basically it breaks down, it puts up puts up a language barrier which you have to break through by. Uh, showing with your gestures and what you do with the other person what it is you're trying to get across, and which is actually something that an actor should know how to do. So yeah, and and this week with this week's acting, we actually started off with a nice little chat about why we all started getting into acting, which was fun, you know. You know, get, getting to know people a, people a bit better because this is only our second week, and, and we're all getting on very well. And it's good to just—I actually know most people's names, which I'm amazed about because I'm I'm usually terrible with names. Names. So we talked about that, and um, then we all performed our monologues for everyone, which we did for our audition pieces. And um, of course, being me, I was one of the first to volunteer. And of course, there were there are positives and negatives. Positive being have a good storytelling voice. Negative. Drop the Scottish accent if you can't do it, which, which, which I can, which I kind of knew already. But the problem was, it, it uh, as I said, I, I was kind of tired this morning, so so when we, when I was doing it, I was kind of just um, remem remembering how it was written on the page, um, and and I actually missed a couple of lines which I knew I missed while I was doing it. Not not that I let the audience want to know that that, that yeah, Super Doctor Fourteen top tip. If you fluff up a line or you miss a line, don't show it. Just move on because unless you show it, the audience ain't gonna know you missed it or fluffed it. They'll just assume it's part of the performance. That's top tip. Yeah, so 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 we did that, and we all sort of 
and uh, we were kind of taught about um, uh, circumstances um, leading up to the. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, moving up to the to this to the scene affects wh why the character's doing what he's doing and how he says it, what he does, and that sort of thing. I also introduced the concept of super objectives. Ah, super objectives. That's even more super than normal objectives. And yes, it is. Basically, a super objective is kind of like a main objective. Objective, and like you have other objectives that you use to get to that main objective. So, so, so if I if I was to explain it, it would be like if if you take um, video games like like first person shooters, and you can pull up an objectives tabs. Like in the whole game, you'll have like one big objective, and the missions are kind of and the mission uh, missions are kind of like objectives themselves to reach that point that's basically I, i'm not explaining it well but but that's ba basically what it is you, you'll, you'll you'll figure out what i mean uh yeah so uh that that was that was acting uh, was that was it in acting yes it was then we moved on to movement now it's important to know somebody here i have a very what i would describe as odd relationship with movement uh, and the basic reason for that is because I always dread the class dread the classes but quite often I'll have fun when I'm there it's kind of odd I mean, first of all let's talk about last week last week we did um, a cardio warm up cardio being heart heart which which I didn't enjoy exactly but you know I um, I, I did it and then we moved on to doing a kind of um, a rhythm step, which which basically just choreographing a few a few steps, nothing major, but we did that, and um, first in pairs, then um, uh, two, then pairs had to get together with two other pairs, and kind of combine them to move one in, into the other. So kind of like my pair would do mine, then we we would all do another pairs, and then the next pairs, but which I enjoy, I like that. And then this week, uh, we d oh yeah, we also did a lot. Of, uh, got um, a sheet with uh, muscle with uh, muscle group. And just now, I'm gonna I'm gonna do f uh, some front front muscles on the front that that are on the sheet because that's basically what I do. First week, I kind of learned the the f uh, front muscles. I'm gonna learn the back muscles over this weekend. So um, I realize you can't see. It. No. Never mind. Uh, ooh. bit of a hit, bit of a hiccup there in the uh, tire. Uh, so first of all, you have the deltoid which is here. Um, and going down, you have the bicep, and then the uh, wrist flexors here. Uh, then you have your pectorals or pectoralis major, as I had learned them in Dundee. Your um, your obliques are sort of like sort of there. Well, it's, it's sort of at the side, at at the yeah yeah there there they're at, they're at the side there. That, that that's the obliques, and, and the abdominals is basically the um, the ch the chest the um, kind of here, just just around the, the diaphragm area. And going down into the um, leg, you have. The uh, quadriceps, which is the bit at the top area, as you can't really see it, see it at all. But quadriceps, basically top top of the leg. Um, then uh, go, then you have the tibialis anterior, which is basically just sort of here. And you also on the leg have the um, the abductors. I think it's the abductors. It's either the abductors or the adductors. It's easy to get those two mixed up, but I think it's the ab abductors. Yeah, so, so 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 then we did that, and then this week we um we did a lot of we did a lot of work on war because that's something you have to do you have, for the um for the course you have to learn how to do your own warm up, you know, make your own warp and do a physical exam, and do a, and do a physical exam of doing your warm up while you're doing it, and um I I, I and uh, it was it was it was it was okay I mean it was nothing special, 
special, and I, I didn't enjoy it very much, but then we moved on to, um, to the last 40 minutes, where basically what we did is we kind of did this thing, which we sort of did, did in Dundee when I did N NQ level, which was, um, basically one person was like a puppet, and one person was a puppeteer, and you had to sort of direct them to do the thing, and then the puppet would do with them on its own. You know, you know sort of, so push, that, that sort of thing. And um, once that once that was done, we we started doing um, our monologues again from earlier, from earlier. We kind of um, and uh, we're told how where you stand on the stage can actually affect how the audience view the um, overall story. But and and they're right, if because if you stand at the back, it looks more like you're watching them. If you stand side by side, it looks like uh, you're both equally important. If if one stands at the um, at the uh, front, it looks like it, it's kind of like a flashback memory. So that's an important thing to remember. Remember, and and now you're into what I was saying before about um, interesting uh, relationship with movement. And it took me a while to realize it. I only just had it today. It was something of an epiphany for me. An epiphany for me, and that is that I don't hate movement. What I hate is warm-ups. Now, when I say that, I don't mean I hate warm-ups that are warm-ups. I hate warm-ups that are actually workouts. And this goes back to when I was at the Scottish Youth Theatre, where you would have warm-ups that lasted for an hour. Yeah. You'd have warm-ups that went on for an hour. I I, I, and I understand the 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 uh, logic behind that because you know, some roles are quite physically demanding. It's trying to prepare you, but but when I was at the Scottish Youth Theatre, none of the shows that I did were particularly physically demanding. I went there three times. Okay, okay. Uh, first time I actually had to go in before the before, before the performance because I got chicken pox for the second time in my life. Yeah, sec uh, se second time I went, I was on the three week course. On the three week course, basically, kind of like um, extras for the main show, which was um, His Dark Materials by Philip Pullman. Uh, we did this. We did the second part. We were divided into two groups. One did one part, one did the second group. And then all I did there was just basically be a guard and run, ar and run around or stand about. Really, I didn't do anything particularly outgoingly physical. The third time, the most that I did was run across the stage, which the warm-up didn't help me with. So I, that, so that was pretty much, if it's a warm-up, it should be at most half an hour, I think. You know, because you're, you're taking away time from being, from your actors being creative. I mean, yeah, I understand it's important to get your, um, your body flexible and, and mobile but you don't need to tire your actors out to do that because if you tire them out then they're not going to be as good when it comes to it and that's happened to me I mean at, at, at the Scottish Youth Theatre that, that's one of the reasons why I didn't go back because I, 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 was, I would just be so tired after the warps that, that I, I found it very difficult to focus on the actual work that we were meant to be doing and that annoyed me because I, I really, really wanted to wanted to enjoy it. I mean, I mean, I did enjoy it on the whole. It's just that I, after the third time, I, I, I had to ask myself, well, I'm going off to Dundee College. Do I really want to bother with the Scottish Youth Theatre when um, it's got such hard work? I'm probably going to be doing this hard stuff in Dundee anyway. And the answer was no, so I chose not to go. Uh, and so, so, so yeah, and, and um, I forgot, I haven't forgot what I was saying. Um, so yeah, you, you have that, you, and you know, it, this translates to a lot of, lot of things, because, yeah, 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 that, I remember what I was going to say. When I was at Dundee, an exercise, we had to try and help remember our lines when we were doing our device pieces, uh, had me chasing one of the, um, actresses while I was 
saying my lines. And I am not a good runner. I pant a lot when I'm running. I actually o o almost had, had an asthma attack because the, and, and I, I don't think the lecturer even noticed that I was, that I was on my, on my, my last breathing legs. Like, so, so, so I recovered. And, and, and afterwards we went on and did other exercises and I was thrown off because I was so exhausted. You know, it, and, and you know, I, I used to dread movement classes, but then I realized that uh, at the end of, end, end of Dundee NQ level, we had to do a movement piece. And I really liked doing the movement piece because, you know, it was, it was only five minutes long. Um, and, you know, the, it, was, it was just wonderful. Everyone worked together, everything went really well, and I enjoyed it. It was fun. So, so, so I'm not. I'm not sure if this this really has a point. Me saying this, it, it, it's just me getting this down because because my mum and dad have always been saying, you know, you know, go yay for movement because they because they think that that uh, if I don't do yay for movement, they'll think that that um, they could have some other person who does enjoy movement at all the other classes. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. I mean, they might be right. They might. They might not be. Not be. And mum and dad, if you're watching this, yeah, you, you probably are. I admit. Okay, just I'm I'm tired right now. All right. Yeah. So so. Yeah, basically, it's just they're too long. Warm up shouldn't take up more than half of. A movement class it, it, it should be you know just the first little bit and then move on to being creative because I like the thing with the puppets when it gets down to doing real movement I enjoy it so so so, so yeah that, 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 that that's that, that's my rant over with just set with my, my epiphany of, of movement um, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, we also did, um, after, after we did, we, we were sort of given sheets, and we each given sort of two, two things on the sheet to do, do in terms of a warm, like star jumps and stuff like that. Um, and they, and they all had names, and at the end of it she said, oh yeah, um, yeah, put it down, see how many you can remember. And, um, I think I got half right. Um, now, now you may not, I, so that was like 7 out of 14, now you may not think that's, much, but well, fact is, she didn't actually say she'd be testing us on our na the names at the end, and I'm not good at having, like I've said, phys my brain kind of goes when I'm doing phys physically demanding stuff. Uh, if she had said that at the end I'm going to test you on these, I would have made more of a con concentrated effort to remember. What, what what they all were. So I, and, and considering how bad I am with things like tests, I'm actually amazed that I got that I got half. I was actually quite proud of that, to be honest. Which I know is really bad, but you know it wasn't even a real proper like test. So to only to get half is is, is actually quite good for me. So I was actually happy with that. So I'm t I'm trying to so top tip for coping with bits of classes that you pro perhaps you don't like would probably be find find some way to endure it I mean, I mean what I what I try and do is um well, when you do physically demanding stuff like the warm-up when you're stretching the muscles they can it can be a bit painful not seriously painful but you know stretchy painful you know the type of painful I mean, I mean what I what I try and do is I try to um, batter my way through the pain and I know that sounds kind of weird. What, what I what I mean is is around you you'll hear people groaning. Uh, what I what I try to do is I try and not say anything. I just try and focus my mind and kind of like on the pain and just try and beat it and just kind of go strain to just acknowledge it but kind of ignore it if that makes sense. And and I, that, that actually works fairly well, much to my surprise. And um, I think. I think that's pretty much everything for today. Um, I, I, I might film some 
people at the party so you can see some of the class if if um their webcam can you know edit sort of like pictures to get uh pictures together because i wouldn't want to put up a load of videos i might, I might do but yeah at any rate that's it for this week in terms of um video logs for lessons We'll get back to it uh, on Monday, actually, because uh, we're going to be having voice with the other group, because the guy, the tutor lecturer, is moving house on the uh, Thursday. So we're going to have to do it together on Monday. Other than that, it's fine, and I hope you all have a good weekend.